Right, this is the big reveal. It is a... It is a... Norton Fastback, but not any Fastback. This might be one of the first ever made. Yes, it has a very, very old early serial number it's not even stamped correctly and it's been approved by the Norton Owners Club as genuine. So this one's been through the wars in Idaho, America, I believe, and was imported back uh, to France where I managed to get it from a really good bloke there who sold it to me. Well, got it on eBay and uh, yeah. So the work begins on project number two. Let's see how we go. So I've got the usual set of <laughs> of skepticism here. Well, he knows why I'm skeptical because he has to paint it. <laughs> it's just got to stop this rust. Yeah, arrest, arrest that rust. Let's stop it now. Just go. Rob, I think it's not too bad, honestly. It's just, it's just getting these bolts which have been sitting i don't know how many years this has been sitting around this poor thing but look at this beautiful stuff here this yeah. grilled vents so air cool. cooling vents yeah these are normally bra i think so, they uh, might be so metal are, bras. are they drum brakes on those? dry yeah that's why this is cool so cools the breaking down yeah yeah now, as you can see that doesn't even turn i mean this gearbox is Seen better days. We can see what's going on downstairs. The second spark plug is pretty tight. Um, so I managed to open it without stripping any threads, bearing in mind its age, which would have a huge ramification on the additional work we have to do, but it feels quite solid in the thread, so that's good. That's the same as the other side. This is day two of the motorcycle being uh, looked over. So today what we're gonna do is just, actually just put a little bit more of this stuff on. Yeah, it's pretty rusted up. It's not in the best state, and um, but that I was expecting this. Uh, this is what uh, the seller had advertised as, and it's exactly what I found. So that's fine. The gearbox seems to be seized. I'm not sure about the engine because I can't turn it. I managed to get the spark plugs out, and uh, they they look a bit carbonated. So. I, Obviously, it wasn't running too well, but that doesn't matter because it's all coming off. Everything's coming off. It's true, but it's really just down to the chassis and everything's looking okay there. And there's a lot to be very happy about. As far as I know, this bike was in Ohio. Uh, so I'm not sure whether it was wet there, right? but you can see the state of the you know, rims are. This is properly rusted, unlike the Enfield where I was covered in tar and muck, but I don't think I can save these, but you never know. Now it's just getting all this stuff soaked up because these are obviously all going to come off. And um, we'll discuss this as a, the beginning of the next project because I don't want to delay um, and make anybody wait for the next exciting project. So I'm really quite keen on this one. And, uh, especially its pedigree and then we'll see like for example let me show you the color that was on this bike originally and the seller had said what he found what he thought was silver underneath here and sure enough this is silver and this looks original and it looks original because if you see the rubbing the red on the inside is actually the gel coat of this uh, fiberglass so that's the gel coat because it's obviously far too bright for a paintwork but underneath here you'll see the silver 
there's no paint in between that and the gel coat and this other purpley stuff that's a burgundy that's on here so it's so most likely this motorcycle was originally silver as they were in the early stages of the manufacture of these bikes i'm just going to let this soak for a few weeks every day just putting a little bit more on a little bit more on make sure that it's really has the best chance of me not breaking anything or stripping anything out quite often the mistake is people get to these too quickly they put heat on them um, it's often best to just be just a little bit gentle with it but yeah I'm really excited to see it 